Hi, I'm Vance Jenkins. I'm on the board of South Carolina Bot Society, and uh, welcome to our little podcast here. My first experience with Bach, I guess, was, would probably be as a young child when I started taking piano lessons. But my first major choral experience was at the University of South Carolina in the concert choir under the direction of Dr. Arpad Naraj when we performed The Passion According to St. John. It was life-changing for me, and I knew that at that point I had to have some connection to Bach and to choral music for the rest of my life. Um, I guess for me, the one thing that I still admire about Johann Sebastian Bach is his everlasting influence on sacred music repertoire. Even in modern sacred music repertoire, you see Bach cadences sprinkled throughout these, uh, these pieces, and it's fun to realize them when they're happening. And when you're rehearsing them, you just kind of sort of smile to yourself and say, thank you, Bach. Thank you. And I'm Diane Eichenbush, and I'm also on the board of SC Bach um, from its inception um, several years ago. And like Vance, my first major like breakthrough experience was with Bach was when I was in my college choir at Rutgers University in New Jersey. We had a visiting conductor named Dr. Max Plummer, and he was from Leipzig from the East Germany at the time. And um, he came and conducted us um, uh, in the Sacred Heart Cathedral in Newark, New Jersey, which is an amazing space, and conducted us in an orchestra in Cantata 172, and then they also did the Brandenburg Number no. 5. And it was just an amazing experience. So that's kind of how I got hooked on Bach. Um, Vance and I would like to play for you right now um, just a little excerpt from the Cradle Song from the Christmas Oratorio from Bach. 